AMD had the world on its heels when they announced the RX 480, a card that brings high-end performance at a low cost. Priced at $200 in the US and $21 to $23,000 in India, this may just be the cheapest VR ready card in the market with the best performance per dollar spent. The reference version of the RX 480 is a single fan radiator design cooler with a single 6-pin power connector and comes in two variants, a 4GB DDR5 variant and an 8GB DDR5 variant. Based on Polaris 10 architecture, the card places a strong focus on 1440p gaming and VR experience. It features a simplistic dark block design with the signature red Radeon logo on the card itself, which seems to work quite well for the card. It does lack a backplate though, which is not very surprising for graphic cards in this range. For display connectivity, the card offers three display ports and one HDMI port. For effective cooling, the display ports are accompanied by an array of vents. The card sits at an idle temperature of about 35 degrees, which is the best in class we've seen until now. However, the card maxes out at about 82 degrees under heavy gaming. We tested out several latest titles for benchmark purposes and the numbers are quite impressive as you can see for yourself. First, we tested Doom on Vulkan API at ultra settings. The frame rates maxed at a whopping 126 FPS with an average of 102. At 1440p as well, we had an average steady rate of 82 FPS with a minimum of 69 FPS. For Rise of the Tomb Raider, the card offered an average of 65 FPS at 1080p and 46 FPS when run at 1440p, all ultra high settings with pure hair on. Fallout 4 performance is impressive as well, with the card running at an average of 86 FPS at 1080p and 58 FPS at 1440p. At the first look, the card may feel a little light or plasticky, but at this price, it is a terrific card. Same goes for the performance. It is a card that competes with the GTX 970 and at times even the 980 at almost half its price. Moreover, it is the only card in the price range that offers a premium VR experience, making it the perfect choice for those looking for a high-end gaming experience without having to spend a huge amount of money. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And of course, don't forget to share this video with your friends. Hey guys, I'm Manas and today we're taking a look at Gigabyte's two GTX 1070 cards, the G1 Gaming Edition and the Extreme Gaming Edition.